Okay, this time again a specific solution for a, a trigonometric equation that is not so simple, especially um, at first look. And uh, to find specific solutions, we first need the general solution. Okay, which means we need trig ratio equal to a constant, find the reference angle, and then the general solutions follow quite easily from there. Okay, so what we have is 103 signs on the left and 229 signs on the right. So um, if I had to take everything to the one side, then I have 103 minus 229 sine thetas. Okay, on the left hand side. On the right hand side I had a negative 2 to get rid of the 52 on the left hand side. I just subtract that on both sides and therefore I get 2 minus 52. So that in the end I have that sine of theta is equal to negative 2, negative 54 over 103 minus 229 gives me, well, what does it give me? Uh, looks like negative 126, I think. Okay, uh, there we go. And there's no need for simplifying. Yes, a 2 can divide into both uh, of those. Uh, 26, uh, there's uh, 60. Three, uh, but that's that's not important. Okay, what is important is that in order to find the reference angle, not theta, theta is a bit more complicated than that. The reference angle. What I need to do is take the inverse function, the arc sine of that thing. Now I can get rid of the negatives. That's fine. Okay, since negative divided by negative would be positive. Okay, and then I find that my reference angle is what? 54 over 126. There we go. And in first to get the arc sine, arc sine 25,38. 25,38 degrees. That's my reference angle. It is positive. Okay, so that my general solution here is that uh, theta that I'm working with is uh, my reference angle plus. 360 degrees times K, where my reference angle is 25,38 okay, degrees plus some number of full rotations. In other words, K is an integer. Or theta is equal to 180 degrees minus the reference angle plus 360 times K. If this 180 is the other quadrant where sine is positive. Okay, so 2, no, 180 minus 25.38 gives me 154,62 plus 360 times k, where k is an integer. And now, as before, as I've done quite a few times now, k is going to take the value 0, 1, 2, etc., negative 1, negative 2, etc., until I get to the value that falls outside of my interval. My interval this time being negative 240 degrees and 30 degrees. So let's start with the first one. So theta is going to be an element of the following set. One of the following values can be the value of theta. Theta can be uh, 25,38 plus no rotations is still less than 30 degrees, so that's one possible solution. 20, sorry, not a comma. 25,38 is one possible solution. Adding one rotation will take me too far. I'll, I'll have uh, definitely more than 30 degrees, isn't it? Okay, so let's subtract it once. Okay, so uh, 25.38 plus 360. Okay, negative 334. Okay, that's also too big. So now we look at the second uh, second one, 154,62. That's already bigger than 360 degrees. So I'm not going to add anything. I'm not, not going to add nothing. I'm not going to add anything either. How about subtracting some full rotations? Well, let's see. Maybe that will work. 154.62 minus 360, okay, negative 205, that's going to work, okay, negative 205 falls inside there, so 205, 38, negative 205, comma, 38, and that's close enough, no more.